So I took a break from recording yesterday, right? Doing videos and early today when I woke up, man, I saw something that absolutely pissed me the hell off, right? I had to double check to make sure the shit was right. The so-called NFL general manager, Bill Polian, said that not only does he not consider Terrell Owens a Hall of Famer, he doesn't consider Randy Moss a Hall of Famer, and he wouldn't put either in the Hall of Fame. Let me tell you something, man. <clears throat> that... If I could find this motherfucker, man, if I could find this guy, I would slap the fuck out of him. <laughs> My goodness, man. Is this the new way? This is the new way to punish outspoken black men now. It's to deny their greatness and deny them their rightful place in football supremacy. I guess it'll start doing the NFL too. You know, you want to be an outspoken nigger? That's how we're going to punish you guys. You guys want to support Colin Kaepernick? This is how we get back at you, you outspoken nigglets. You know, so this is, you know, they're going to, they're going to punish the outspoken, truthful Negroes <laughs> and reward the Yaza <clears throat> That's how they're going to do this shit, right? You know, I put up here their statistics, man, the general statistics, and they're eye-popping. I mean, absolutely eye-popping. Now the, the, the consensus is, well, Terrell Owens, he made his teams worse, as did Randy Moss. They were locker room distractions. Yet, these teams that they were on, oh, they were on all these different teams. So, Brett Favre playing on three teams had no, you know, that, that's cool. Brett Favre playing on three teams. It's cool Kurt Warner playing on, what, three or four teams. That's fine. It's okay that Kurt Warner was only dominant for three or four seasons of his career. That's cool. That's good enough for him to be in the Hall of Fame. <coughs> From the late 90s, throughout the pretty much the duration of the 2000s, these were the top two wide receivers in the league. You can make an argument for Larry Fitzgerald being thrown in there. You can make an argument for a couple other guys to be thrown into the mix, man. But more, more often, it's, it's these two guys, okay? Other guys might have had a couple of great seasons here or there. Megatron, yeah. But for the for the entire duration of that decade, more than decade, it's these two, these two dudes. Terrell Owens... He may have gotten along with some of his teammates, and yet toward the end of his career, he might was cut by some teams because he was starting to decline. Okay, he was in his very late 30s by that time. But when he was with the 49ers, he was extraordinarily productive. Now, don't get me wrong. He used to piss me off sometimes, too. Terrell Owens. Because I used to think sometimes he was a little bit disrespectful to, Randy, uh, to Jerry Rice, who was still playing at the time. But... Some of it had to do with the fact that the writing was on the wall. Jerry Rice's tenure as the, the top receiver for the 49ers was coming to an end. Terrell Owens was the shit. Some people still, to this day, can't stomach to see Terrell Owens standing in the middle of the Dallas, Dallas field as a 49ers jersey on, standing in the middle of the star. See, shit like that. That's the real reason why he's not in the Hall of Fame. It's not this locker room shit. It's because he was an uppity nigga and you couldn't stand it. Tell the fucking truth, Bill Poland. You can't stand up with these niggas. I'm up with these nigga my damn self. I know motherfuckers like you. You want to whoop my ass so bad, but you can't beat my ass. So you got to do it in other ways to get back at motherfuckers like me. And these two great fucking football players. Terrell Owens is one of the greatest fucking wide receivers of all time. All motherfucking time. People always keep saying, oh, he played with so many different teams, but these teams were clamoring to sign his ass, weren't they? They were clamoring to sign his ass. Revisionist history bullshit. 
Trey Owens was the only motherfucker from the from the uh, Eagles to show up in the fucking Super Bowl that year. And then the other guy, Randy Moss, <clears throat> I think he was even better than Owens. Even better than Owens. And Owens is first ballot Hall of Famer. But Randy Moss, my God, this guy's arguably. If it wasn't for, for, for a guy like Jerry Rice, man, Randy, Randy Moss is the second greatest wide receiver I think of all time. And he's the most athletic. Came into the fucking league with a 51-inch vertical. That's unheard of. Even Michael Jordan doesn't have a didn't have a fifty one inch vertical. His was forty eight inch, forty eight inches, fifty one inch vertical. The greatest deep threat I've ever seen in my life. And you talking about he didn't make his teammates better. He was the main reason. He's one of the main reasons why that Patriot team team went sixty and older the regular season. Are you fucking kidding me? You couldn't guard this man. This man by himself gave football teams a chance at victory every fucking night. Whatever team he played on during his prime. Whether it was the fucking, you know, uh, the Vikings or Oakland or the Patriots. Because that year he played the Patriots, he broke records. He was record breaking. How dare you say he didn't make team his teams better? You racist son of a bitch. If they keep these two men out of the fucking Hall of Fame, their Hall of Fame is a fucking joke. It's a fiasco. It's a it's 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 tawdry. It's tawdry. It's, it's worthless. It's a Hall of Shame. God damn it! If they keep these goddamn men out of the Hall of Fame. He's a fucking moron. All those marginal fucking people you got in the Hall of Fame. Like I said, Kurt Warner is standing and Randy. He was standing in Terrell Owens' spot. Because I don't think Kurt Warren's a Hall of Famer. You can't just be dominant t three years of your career and then for another five or six years be mediocre. It don't work that way. If that's the case, Glenn Rice needs to be in the, in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Grant Hill had more dominant seasons than Kurt Warner. And we still debating whether he's in the Hall of Fame. He'll probably get in because of his collegiate career. But Kurt Warren was bagging groceries or some shit like that. He had a magical first run with the, with the Rams. Don't get me wrong. He was great. But then for a long stretch of his career, he was MIA. He won an elite, run, he won an elite quarterback for years. Then he go with the Arizona Cardinals. You put him on a team with some receivers. And all of a sudden, he's great again. A great, a great quarterback like a Peyton Manning. Will be great in any system. He shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. He probably fucking knows it. This pissed me the hell off, man. How you not gonna talk, you talking about these guys not gonna be in the Hall of Fame? I'm not worried about it anyway because from the, from the looks of it. He's not going to be around much longer anyway. So, you know, I don't even think he has the power to to influence that many people not to vote for these guys, man. But if they keep Randy Moss out the Hall of Fame, man, you know, for, for long, these, these, these guys should be first ballot Hall of Famers. Okay, Terrell should have gotten in his first year of eligibility. His first year. This was his second year. He still didn't get in. Character character they said they always say now I'm just gonna be honest with you I don't know whether OJ did it or not but he's a Hall of Famer and they say off the field issues shouldn't matter which is the cover for hey he was a, a, a grand dragon of KKK it doesn't matter Ray Lewis might kill somebody. A couple people. He'll be in the Hall of Fame. Right? Because it happened off the field. I know of a lot of a lot of 
old time football players who are racist or were racist to the core. One of them, they consider the greatest eagle of all time, Chuck Bednarik. He was racist as a motherfucker. He's a Hall of Famer. Nobody doubts that. The last 60-minute football player. Racist piece of shit. But he's in the Hall of Fame. But you're not going to put these guys in because you don't like them? They were too outspoken? Uh, team cancer? Get out of here, man. Team cancer. That's just cold for outspoken nigger. Fuck you, Bill Poland. Fuck you.